Tilet, Wrinkles, and Nile. Always wash your hands. Follow the bed. And no bother. Sprinkle the bed. <coughs> That's too much. And there you have it. Oh, very yummy, how yummy. Thank you for your recipe, Mr. Jonah. Today's real recipe is pumpkin and beet salad. And here are the ingredients. Any packaged salad mix, I'm going to be using Australian leaf blend from Coles. Some cut up pumpkin. Some baby beets. Your choice of nuts. Today I'll be using pine nuts and walnuts. You could also use pecans if you want. I'm actually going to be using some walnuts that I've soaked in water for 24 hours. Olive oil as always, some salt and some glaze with balsamic vinegar of Modena from Coles. And for the last time, always remember to wash your hands. Preparing the pumpkin is easy. Add some olive oil, add your salt, and get your hands dirty. Place them on a tray with some baking paper. Preheat the oven to a high temperature. I'm going to do it at 250 degrees and put them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Here are some I prepared earlier. I've always wanted to say that. Put your leaf blend in, add your pumpkin, your baby beets, and walnuts or soaked walnuts. Every Arab's favourite. Olive oil, salt, and some glaze. And mix it through. And you can sprinkle with your pine nuts. This is so bittersweet. And there you have it. And that was our final episode of Fast Food for Fast Times for this Domitian Fast period. I'd like to thank you all for joining us every day and taking part in these recipes and providing us with so much positive feedback. If you would like to see us return for a season two during the Nativity Fast, please let us know by leaving a comment. A very special thank you to all those people that help me work in front of the camera and especially behind the scenes so that this series could be possible. God bless you, Michaela Saliba, Adam Katra, my mum, Georgette Saba, my son, Jonah Saba, and a very special thank you to my camerawoman today, Khuriyi Mandy, who always supports me and indulges me in all my crazy ideas. For our last spiritual exercise, let's learn the Traparian for the Dormition of the Theotokos Feast Day. In your giving birth you retained your virginity, and in Dormition you did not forsake the world.